I'm a big fan of gear that helps keep you alive. Alpine Star's Tech Air System has been doing exactly that since 2009. But up until recently, it was only available for top level racers. Not anymore. All right, welcome everybody. Um, thank you for say, taking some time to come over here and uh, see a very new piece of protection. Um, I'm very excited to be able to share uh, the Alpine Stars Tech Air airbag system with you. Um, some key notes on this. Uh, this is the first and only proactive airbag system available. Um, this system has been used extensively in racing um, and in laboratory testing to build uh, the most protective system possible. So a little bit of history on the system itself. Uh, the Tech Air idea started in 2001, and the whole idea was how do you make riding a motorcycle as safe as driving a car? Uh, from 2001 to 2004, we really had to understand what a crash was, uh, what the numbers were behind a crash, and how crashes happened, what actually went into a crash. And then by 2004, full data logging and racing. Um, and then 2009, uh, the system was available to all Alpine Stars athletes uh, in the racing side, and then we continued the actual in lab testing. So uh, this is Alpine Stars Tech Air Race System. Uh, we do have two separate systems. We actually have a Tech Air Race and a Tech Air Street. They go into different garments um, for different uses, but this being the Tech Air Race goes into the one-piece race suits and the uh, street leather jackets and textile jackets that are Tech Air compatible. Um, but this is the first and only fully independent uh, airbag system available uh, to the market. The system does fit in. You see the liners on each side of me. Uh, it does fit inside Tech Air compatible garments. So it actually goes inside just like a liner would. It has a level two back protector built in, um, and then it has all the electronics built into it as well. So um, this actually has one installed, so you're able to, under the main zipper here, then you have the closure system right there. That's what will arm it. Um, and then the system is fully installed there. Uh, it goes in with the two yellow zippers on each side, just like a liner would, and that's it. There's one plug at the back of the actual jacket, so you get the LED panel, which is going to give you uh, charge status, what the status of the system is. Um, it'll even give you certain blinks if there are any errors, whether you have a critical battery um, or anything along those lines. Uh, essentially, your control panel while you're utilizing it, if it's in standby or if it's an arm, armed also. Um, as for a little bit of, uh, of data behind it, we, we love data and we love seeing the data. Um, last year, Mark Marquez won his sixth MotoGP World Championship. Uh, uh, Mark Marquez has been a Tech Air athlete since he got into the GP ranks. Uh, last year, he had 27 crashes throughout the season. It's a big number, 27 crashes throughout the MotoGP season. Um, and then he went on with no injuries to win the MotoGP World Championship. So that really goes to show how this system works, how much coverage this system has, and uh, how protective the system is. So if, uh, if you have it in race mode, the system actually has two separate deployments, so you can deploy the system twice, two separate crashes. Um, it is immediately ready for use after the first deployment. So you can jump up in qualifying, uh, jump back on the bike and keep going. If you have it in street mode, it has one deployment. Um, after that deployment, then the whole Tech Air system comes back to our U.S. office. Um, in our U.S. office, we have a full Tech Air service facility where we disassemble the system, uh, load test everything, go through all the pieces, make sure everything's functioning properly properly. Um, the internal airbag itself, the charges uh, get replaced, the system gets washed, um, and then you essentially get returned a whole new functioning system. This is the actual uh, Tech Air Street system we see here. So this system will fully inflate in 25 milliseconds. The way that that works is uh, it has no external sensors, no sensors on the motorcycle, no GPS tethers of any kind, no physical tethers of any kind. 100% independent. Um, it has four separate se sensors built in. Um, but the system itself, 100% independent. What you see here is the entire system. Uh, the level two back protector right here you see uh, houses the ACU which is going to be the brain of the system. That system houses a gyroscope and an accelerometer, and then there's an accelerometer on each shoulder. So four total sensors um, that are each running three axis of data that are fueling that algorithm in the ACU. Uh, so it's able to be a proactive system and fully deploy before you suffer the first impact. The racing algorithm is optimized for racetrack use. So it's looking for loss of control crashes, high sides, low sides, whereas the street firmware, the street algorithm, um, is looking for a whole different level of variables. Um, it's actually looking for things like, say you're sitting at a stop sign and somebody rear ends you at 50 miles an hour, uh, this system will fully deploy before you ever suffer the first impact. 
So the idea behind the system is truly to save lives um, and give you a much better riding experience all around. Powered by a lithium ion battery that's housed in that ACU, um, it has a charging cord at the very bottom. Uh, so a full charge uh, will give you about 25 hours of active riding um, and that's active where it's looking for a crash. Okay. Uh, but I can't stress enough, no sensors on the motorcycle, no tethers of any kind, 100% independent system. Um, with over 700 crashes in track in the lab uh, with no false deployments and no crashes that the system did not deploy um, within its active parameters. So the Tech Air system itself is sized, uh, they're alphanumeric sizing, so you have small, medium, large, XL, 2XL, um, and then the garment itself has a correlating size. Uh, the garment though has, and I can show you on the garment, um, has a wide range of stretch paneling built in, so it can account for this system to be in there, but also when it fully inflates. Uh, because the system itself is a liner, so it is single layer, um, and then it has a level two back protector, so it takes up no more space than your racing back protector setup would. With that, I know everybody wants to see it go off. Everybody ready? <laughs> Count this down. Five, four, three, two, one. So here, if you walk forward for me. So you see full chest coverage, um, and then you have full kidney, and then spin for me, Bill. Then you have that full back coverage there. So you have a ton of coverage with this system. Uh, like I said, street system, 25 millisecond full inflation. Now it will stay fully inflated for five full seconds. And then as you begin to, uh, once you hit that five second mark, you begin to move around. The system will start to slowly deflate um, and will deflate on its own. Fully electronic operation, 100% enclosed unit. Um, so it does have to come back to us for those services. We want to see the system back, uh, depending on use, at, at the minimum every two years. Um, so we can go through it, make sure everything's working properly. Um, either than that, the biggest thing you have to do is if you're going to keep it in storage, you have to charge the battery every 18 months. Um, a full service on the system with two new deployments, everything is $299. And then a uh, just a standard service where we go through it, check everything is $99. The, uh, the Tech Air system is $1149, that's both systems. Uh, your race suits, which start at $999, go up to $1999, and then into your leather jackets that start at $599, um, and even some textile jackets too. They just have to be Tech Air compatible. So for a little more than $2,100, you can have a full Tech Air race suit, add a Tech Air compatible jacket, and you also have a setup for the street. That's awesome. So I guess I have to add the Tech Air system to my must-have shopping list for 2019. Don't forget to comment and like this video, and if you want to stay up to date with all of our great videos and stories, hit the subscribe button and follow us on social media at CycleSportsTV.